everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga. I'm Jamie and it's time to gather everyone together to enjoy some family yoga time together. Now, do you think penguins can fly? No, it's not really possible, is it? Well, today we're off on a rather exciting adventure to Antarctica to meet a penguin who is on a mission. I wonder if he can prove us wrong. Let's go join him with our yoga now. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same position by crossing our legs and sitting on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. There! Now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Pedro the penguin. So we're going to a very cold place called Antarctica. Now we don't want to freeze, so let's warm up. We lift up one shoulder, two shoulders, drop the first shoulder and the second shoulder. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well done, everyone. Now zip yourself up into your snowsuit. Zip. And give a silent snowy cheer to the sky. And do it on the other side. Zip. And another silent snowy cheer to the sky. Yay! Then we give everyone at home a great big hug. Let's stand up, put your feet a bit wider, arms out wide, and wrap them up with a big squeeze. Out of the corner of our eye, we see our helicopter. Jump your feet together and turn to the side. Bend your knees, arms outstretched, and twist to the front. We get in, lifting your arms up tall and sitting down in your pilot's chair. Now we're ready for takeoff. We jump our feet wide and our arms wide and we begin to spin as our helicopter takes off into the sky. We're off! Whee! We steer our helicopter using our steering sticks. Sitting on your bottom, take hold of one of your feet. We go chopper, chopper, chopper one side, chopper, chopper, chopper the other side, chopper, chopper, chopper forwards and chopper, chopper, chopper back. Then we steer with the other steering stick as well. Let's lift that one up and go chopper, chopper, chopper one side, chopper, chopper, chopper other side, chopper, chopper, chopper forwards, chopper, chopper, chopper back. And we've come in to land. Hooray! When we get out, there's a sleigh waiting for us. We come onto our tummies and we kick our feet up towards our bottoms, taking hold of our ankles with our hands. We lift ourselves up. And our sleigh today is being pulled by a pack of husky dogs. Oh, how lovely. Coming all the way up, put your hands down and your feet down. Lift your bottom up to the sky and let's have a happy husky dog woof. Woof, 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 woof. The husky dogs pull the sleigh. Wow, it's a bit like skiing. We bend our knees, hold onto the reins and bounce, bounce, bounce as we whoosh down the mountain. Then it's a bit like snowboarding when we let go of one arm and one leg and we go whee down the mountain. We can even swap our legs and arms over. Whoosh! This is great fun. The husky dogs take us as far as the mountain. We say namaste to thank them. Namaste. And then we look at the huge mountain in front of us. It's so still and so beautiful. What's that noise? It's a polar bear. Oh dear, put your hands down and take your feet out wide. The polar bear clumps towards us. Clump, clump, clump. Come right up onto your tiptoes, everyone. Clump, clump. Clump, we'd better hide. Come onto your knees and tuck yourself into a little snowball. Ooh. We sit up and phew. Thank goodness he didn't see us. All of a sudden, whizzing down the mountain on his tummy is a penguin. Whee! It's me, Pedro. He gets to his feet 
feet, jumping and waddling a little bit, and he says, Namaste, Padre. I am Pedro the Penguin, and I am trying to learn how to fly. I've got lots of ideas, so come on. OK, but we're a bit worried because Pedro is a penguin, and we know that penguins can't fly. But we follow Pedro anyway, with big steps up the mountain. Big step. Big step. Pedro suddenly says, I am going to jump off the side and flap my little wings. And before we have a chance to stop him, he dives off the side. Lifting your arms up tall, fold all the way forwards. Oh no, coming onto your knees everyone, Pedro flaps his little wings. Oh, but it's no good. He lands with a <laughs> on his tummy. Oh dear. Next he tries becoming a whirly spinning windmill. Taking your feet out nice and wide and your arms out wide too. We're going to windmill our hands across to our opposite foot. And the other way. And the other way. Wow, what wonderful wooshy windmills you all are. We're spinning side to side to side to side. It's lots of fun being a windmill, but it doesn't get Pedro flying. We have an idea and we decide to show Pedro how to do an aeroplane in yoga. Coming onto your knees, take your arms out wide. Place your hand down on the ground beside you and put your knee in front of your foot in front of your knee. Shoot, shoot your back leg out behind you and wave at the sky as you go. Neow. Pedro joins in when we do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees, arms out wide. Place your hand down and put your foot in front of your knee. Shoot your back leg out behind you and... Neow! The other way. Pedro loves being an aeroplane, but it doesn't get him actually flying. All of a sudden, we see a beautiful bird flying gracefully above us, leaning forward and flutter your bird wings. Pedro looks up at the bird, full of admiration. He's not going to give up on his dream. He's going to keep trying. He has an idea. Get the toolbox. We have to make something. OK. Here it is, sitting down. Place the soles of your feet together and let your knees open out. Now close yourself down over your toolbox. We open it up and we take out a saw. Taking hold of one of your feet, we saw lots of bits of wood. When we're finished with that saw, we use the other one. Take the other saw now and... Now it's time for some hammering. We stand up and we crisscross our fingers behind our back. And after three, we go bang. Ready? One, two, three. Bang! And again, one, two, three. Bang! And last time, one, two, three. Bang! Great hammering, everyone. Finally, the screws. We sit down on our bottoms, we lift up our feet, and we screw in the screws. There. We stand back from our work feeling very proud. We have made Pedro a hang glider. He's very, very excited and a little bit scared. This time he takes his hang glider up the mountain. Holding out his arms on his hang glider, he takes a little run up. <sighs> then he jumps and this time he catches the wind and begins to fly. Lifting your leg up high and out behind you everyone. Yay! He's done it! Pedro is flying! We're so happy for him. Even the birds tweet with their surprise. Tweet, 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 tweet! Pedro's done it. All of the other penguins look up and see him flying in the sky. They, ins they are inspired and they want to fly as well. So all the penguins start making hang gliders and they all start flying in the sky. Every day Pedro flies on his hang glider. Let's try it on the other leg now. Holding out your arms wide, coming up, lifting up your foot behind you, nice and high and out. And see if you can hold your balance. 
Yay! Pedro has shown us that he can make his dreams come true. And we can make our dreams come true if we just keep trying and we don't give up. Now everyone, we're super tired after all that flying. We're going to have a lie down and a little rest. So we lie down on our backs and we put our arms down by our sides. <sighs> what an amazing time. We're so happy that Pedro managed to make his dream come true. And we wonder what dream he's going to work on next to make come true. We think about what our dreams are. How we'd like to make our dreams come true. And even if we're not perfect at something the first time round, doesn't mean we should give up. We need to make a few mistakes along the way so we can become wise and learn how to do something as best as we can. Just like Pedro and his flying. Slowly we start to wake ourselves up by twinkling our fingers and twinkling our toes and bringing our knees into our chest for a little bit of a cuddle. We roll ourselves over onto our side and we bring ourselves up to sitting. We cross our legs again and bring our hands together to our heart and we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done everyone. Thanks for coming on the flight with Pedro. That was great fun. I hope to see you again for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>「Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather everyone there together at home, the dogs, the cats, the goldfish, all the mums and dads, maybe even the grandparents, and enjoy some wonderful family yoga together. Now, we're off on a treat adventure today. We're going to the fun fair, and we're going with a lovely friend. He's not the usual sort of friend you would take to a fun fair or a theme park, but he enjoys the rides anyway. Let's go see how we get on. <laughs> everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosminoculars and see who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh look at that. Those colours spinning around and around. Oh look. Can you see the picture? Yes, it's a penguin. It's Pedro the penguin. Oh, what's Pedro doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing penguin pose. Oh, Pedro, it's so exciting. We're taking Pedro to the fun fair for his first ever visit. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start by making ourselves a healthy packed lunch. Ready? Taking your legs out long, bending your knees, take your hands down to your toes and open up your lunch box. Now take your arms wide and we'll twist one way to get our very favourite sandwiches. Here they are. We wrap them up and put them in. We take our arms out wide again and we twist the other way now to get Pedro's sandwiches. I think we should get him a fish sandwich. Here it is. Yes, he loves fish sandwiches. We wrap it up and we put it in. 
<laughs> we bend our knees a little bit, lift our arms up and we touch our toes to close our lunch box. Now we're ready to go and meet Pedro at the train station. Coming up to stand, take your feet wide and your hands to your side like flippers because here comes Pedro along the platform, waddling along. Hola amigo, it's Pedro. We give him a great big hug, wrapping our arms around him and together we jump on the train. Jump yourself forwards and lift up your arm and pull the horn. Hoo, hoo. Here we go. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. We've arrived at the big golden gates of the fun fair. Come down to two knees and take one leg out to the side. Lift your arm up to the sky and take your hand onto your long leg. Open up the gates going over to the side. And come back to two knees. Bring your other leg out to the other side now and reach your arm up to the sky and close the golden gates behind you. We're inside and Pedro is so excited about going on the rides. We skip. Here we go. Skipping, skipping, skipping. Across to the teacups. Yay! We sit down in our own teacup with our legs crossed, crisscrossing our fingers behind our heads. Now the teacups ride is quite a spinny one. It whirls around and around. Ready? <gasps> Whee! Wizzy, 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 woo, 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 wizzy, woo. Oh my goodness me. After all that whizzing around, Pedro is very dizzy. So we show him how to help his brain stop spinning by rubbing our hands together very, very fast. Rub them, rub them, rub them. Make them really hot, like you've got fires in your hand. Keep rub, 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 rubbing. And when they're very warm, you place them over your eyes and you rest your eyes in the lovely, warm darkness. Ah, taking your hands down now. That's better. That's made all that dizziness go away. And we're ready for the next ride. Jurassic Land, where there's a jungle river cruise. We go and get in one of the special boats. Turning to the side, let's take up one leg, take up two legs. Take up one arm and no arms and give me a wave. Yay! Oh, in the Jungle River Cruise, we look through our special tour binoculars. Thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh. <gasps> look, over there, we can see a dinosaur clomping around. Coming up to stand, everyone. Jump your feet wide, fold all the way forwards and grab your ankles. Here he goes, clomping. Clomp, 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 clomp. <gasps> Look out, everyone. There's a T-Rex and he's doing a big roar like a lion. One, two, three. Rawr! Oh, my goodness. After Jurassic Land, we're ready to go on the roller coaster. We sit down with our legs wide in our carriage. We're really excited about the roller coaster. It goes really fast and sometimes upside down. Oh, here we go, everyone. Oh, we're starting to climb all the way up the very steep hill. Ready to whoosh forwards. One, two, three. Whoosh. All the way over to one side. Whee! And the other, Woo! all the way up again, Woo! and forwards to the side, to the other side. Smile for the camera. <gasps> Pedro loves the roller coaster. Oh dear, but afterwards I have a little bit of a tummy ache. So we show him how to help his tummy ache go away by lying on his back with his flippers out long and his legs up in the air. He twists from one side with his legs all the way over to the other side. Ah, and 
doing a few of these really helps the tummy ache go away. That's better. Now Pedro spots something. Coming up to stand, joining your heels together, your flippers at your side. Oh, the coconut shy. I like to have a go. If you knock a coconut off the post, you win a goldfish. Mmm, I like goldfish. A tasty goldfish. Oh, luckily we brought that fish sandwich for Pedro and hopefully that will save the goldfish. Okay, Pedro, let's play. Sitting on its post is a coconut. Coming down, hug your knees in tight. Now see if you can balance your toes off the ground. Very good, like a little coconut on a stand. Pedro throws the ball and look, the coconut goes tumbling to the ground. Tuck your chin and rock it back. Whoop. And forwards, woo! I won the goldfish! Coming into fish pose, point your toes forwards and drop down onto your elbows. Now, pop, 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 pop your chest to the sky, look up to the ceiling and all the way back behind you like a goldfish going bob, 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 bob. We decide to call this goldfish Bob. Pedro stands. Mmm, I want the goldfish. I'm hungry. Can I have it for lunch? No, Pedro. We sit him down on a bench. Coming to stand, your feet facing forward, your hands above your head. We sit down on the bench and we give Pedro his special fish sandwich, which means Bob will live to see another day. Thankfully, now, after eating our lunch, which was very delicious, we're ready for the next ride. The treasure falls. It's the log ride, the water chute. Come on, everyone, let's get in. Bob and Pedro are in front of us and we kneel up behind them. We're in our raft. Let's go. We lift all the way up. We're coming all the way up higher and higher, taking our arms up and over. I'm ready to whoosh down. One, two, three. Whoosh! When we sit up, we see that Pedro and Bob aren't in the log raft anymore. Where could they have gone? We look over to one side, take your bottom over to the side and twist around. Are they over there? No, they're not. We take our legs round to the other side and we look over the other side of the log raft. Are they over there? No, they're not. We take our legs all the way forwards and we fold all the way down. Are they in front of... There they are, they're down at the bottom of the log flume. They're whizzing on their tummies down the slide. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. Take your arms to the side and lift your legs and arms as you go. Whee! Bob and Pedro are having the best time and we meet them at the bottom. We decide to leave Bob the goldfish in the water because He's actually much happier living in the water rather than in a plastic bag. So we decide it's time to go home. And look, out of the sky is a hot air balloon. Amazing, we're going home in a hot air balloon. We stand up and we get in, reaching up with one hand, holding onto one foot, Ooh, trying not to wobble, well done. And then we reach in with the other hand. Up we go with one hand, holding onto your foot. Oh, yep, trying not to wobble. Well done, everyone. And once inside, we cross our legs, we sit down all the way to our bottoms and we blow up the hot air balloon, cupping our hands around our mouth. Ready? floating up very high, everyone. Look, and we start to say our special little rhyme. We say tick, tock, like a clock, until I find my centre. Did you find it? I think you did. Well done, everyone.
Once we get home with Pedro, we tiptoe quietly upstairs because it's so late. Shh, 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 shh. Pedro's going to sleep over. He's got a little bed on our bedroom floor. We all get into our beds, lying down, our arms and legs down by our sides. And we rest. We can hear Pedro down on the floor in his little bed, resting too. And we think about what a fun day we've had together. All of those rides, all of the excitement, all of the new things for Pedro. How we ate a very healthy lunch and how we helped ourselves with some yoga here and there when we got dizzy and when we got tummy ache. And now it's time for us just to balance out a busy day with a very sound sleep. Listen to the little noises around and be still. Now it's time to wake up wiggling our toes and our fingers, bringing our knees into our chest and giving them a hug, rolling onto our side and opening our eyes as we come to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was great fun. Thanks for coming to the fair with Pedro and Bob. You were great. I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. That was brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga. Polar Bear Pose
snowboarding pose. You were great! Well done, you! Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Archer pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms with our legs out long. We take two fingers and put them between our big toe and our second toe. We draw our knee all the way back to our armpit like we're pulling on our bow. And then we reach forward with our other hands to touch our toes, taking aim at our target. After three, we're going to fire the arrow from our foot. Ready? One, two, three. Pew! Oops, missed. Now, let's see if we can do it on the other side. Taking two fingers between your big toe and your second toe, drawing your bow back, bringing your knee to your armpit and reaching forward to those toes. Now, archer pose is very good for opening our hips, strengthening our core and giving our arms and legs a very good stretch. Let's try that target again. Reaching forwards for our aim. Ready? After three and then we fire. One, two, three. Archer pose. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Oh. 
flying pose. Standing up nice and tall, we lift up one of our legs and find a spot to focus on, trying not to wobble. Now we stretch our leg all the way back out behind us, like we're pressing it against a wall, using our tummy muscles to stay strong. We stretch our arms wide like wings. Now, flying pose is brilliant for practicing your balance, building strength in your whole body and getting really, really focused. Slowly we lower back down and we need to try it on the other side because we'll be wonky if we don't do both sides. Let's try it on that side now, standing nice and tall, finding a focus spot and then getting yourself nice and rooted down. We lift up one of our legs and we try not to wobble as we take our leg all the way back behind us, our arms out wide, using those tummy muscles, stretching long. Wow, look, it's working. We're flying. Oh, afternoon, lovely day. Oh, watch where you're flying. <laughs> flying pose. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out. Climbing up. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Find a spot and get yourself comfy. Lie back on the floor, on a soft rug or mat, or even on a nice squishy couch or bed. If sitting up works better for you, then do that. Wherever you choose, take a moment to get settled and happy with your position. With your eyes open, take some nice big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And one more. This time as you breathe out, let your eyes gently close so you can hear me even better. That's it. Well done you. See if you can notice a nice snuggly feeling in your body as you rest here. Feel how whatever you are sat or lying on is holding you, supporting you, so you can sink your body down even further. It's strong enough to carry you. Let it hold you making yourself completely heavy and relaxed. Ah, oh, so comfy. Maybe you can feel that little tingle of calmness moving through your fingertips, up into your arms, your shoulders, your neck and head then down into your chest, your tummy, down your legs, right to the ends of your toes. More and more calm and comfortable with each word I speak. So comfortable that 
it becomes easy to drift and dream. You're doing a wonderful job. Now you are this relaxed, the door to your dreams can open and you get to explore. Let's see what's in there. There's a ladder. It's leaning up against a wall, fastened to it so it won't move. It's very sturdy and strong. It has handles as well, so you'll be able to climb this ladder easily. It's very safe. With each step up this ladder, you are going to remember a special time which made you feel really happy and confident, like you could do anything. There are five steps on this fantastic ladder of yours. And when you get to the top, boy, are you going to feel super strong and happy. Ready to climb? Here we go. As you put your foot on the first step of the ladder, you remember a time at school when you did something you were really pleased and proud of. Maybe your teacher told you how good it was. Maybe it was reading, or writing, or making something. Perhaps you tried really hard in a game, or sport. See if you can remember it now, that time, what it was you did. And as you think about it, can you feel that strong, proud feeling now again, spreading all through your body? Breathe into that feeling, how happy it made you, and reach up to take the next step on the ladder. Good, you're doing so well. Now, as your foot lifts onto step number two, see if you can remember a time when you did something amazing with your body. Maybe running really fast, being in a race or catching a ball, or maybe scoring a goal. Feel how good that felt, the strength and joy of doing something amazing in your body. It feels good, doesn't it? Would you like more of that amazing, strong feeling? Well, you can. Go on, double it now. See if you can. Great! Now, up we go again, to step number three. And as you climb, See if you can now remember a time when you managed to do something you've been trying to do for ages. Practicing over and over again, hoping to get there. Like riding your bike without stabilizers, no training wheels, playing a tune on the piano, swimming a whole width or even length of a swimming pool or reading a whole book by yourself. You found you could finally do it, after all the practice, and it felt awesome. You were so excited, happy, and super proud of yourself. There. Now. You have that feeling again here with the memory. Breathe into it, all your strength, your confidence, the goodness of the feeling. Let it fill you up. Fantastic. Does that feel good? Now get ready for step number four, 
What will you find here? You place your foot on the number four step and you think of something you have made. Maybe a drawing you've done, a cake you made, or something you built, like a Lego project, or a cool model out of cardboard, glue and other bits and bobs. Perhaps you wrote a story. Whatever it was, think about it now. And remember how everyone said it was really good. You felt so happy and proud of it, that you made it. You put it together and made it so good. That feeling is back with you now. That happy, proud feeling for what you can do. You enjoy it here again by breathing into it, feeling it whoosh around your body. What a great feeling it is, isn't it? Take it up with you now as you have one more step to go on this very brilliant and exciting ladder. Step number five. Are you ready? Now. Can you think of a time when someone in your family told you how proud they are of you? Or how much they love you? Or how special you are to them? For simply being you. That you make them so happy. And you are a very special person. Remember a time now when they said this to you, how it felt. Feel that warm, happy feeling now. That strength and confidence you feel when you think of that. You can do anything. You're amazing. You know that. You've done so well. Now you are at the top, you can climb over the wall into tomorrow. And look at you. You are so strong, brave and confident. Isn't your face happy and smiling as you are talking to other children and making new friends? Listen to your voice as you speak and share your ideas. Putting up your hand in class to offer your suggestions. Brilliant. Well done, you. It's so exciting for you to do all these things easily. Nothing at all to be worried about. Your strength growing with each and every day. I wonder if it will surprise you when you notice it happening or will it just feel perfectly natural that you are so confident now? It's time to return and wake up feeling all the energy coming back into your body. Your fingers wriggling, your toes too. Maybe you stretch your whole body long, enjoying the lovely feeling of movement again. You take a big breath and sigh out and roll yourself up to sit, your eyes open again. Take a moment to feel what you feel now, remembering the great feelings you are having. They are with you now, still, and always can be. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie, saying peace out.